I can only give you love that lasts forever and a promise to be near each time you call. And the only heart I own for you and you alone. That's all. Dorothy Dandridge was more than a star. She was a pioneer, a symbol of beauty, talent, and resilience in an era of racial segregation and systematic discrimination. With her breathtaking performances, she shattered stereotypes and defied the limitations imposed on black actresses. But behind her rise to fame, Dorothy's story was one of pain, isolation, and betrayal. A story that reflects not just the hardships of one woman, but the brutal realities of an industry that welcomed her beauty while exploiting her soul. This is the untold tragic story of Dorothy Dandridge. Welcome to Holly Weird Untold, an ebony rose in a room of thorns. Dorothy Dandridge was born in 1922, a time when segregation still defined America's social fabric. As a child, she and her sister Vivian formed the Dandridge Sister, performing in clubs and venues that catered to black audiences. It was clear from the start that Dorothy was destined for stardom. Her beauty and natural talent caught the eye of Holly Weird producers. But this was no golden ticket. Holly Weird, even in its most glorious days, was a town deeply entrenched in racism. For black performers, no matter how talented, the industry had little to offer beyond caricature roles that reinforced demeaning stereotypes. Dorothy's early career was marked by these limited roles maids, singers, or background characters, but never the lead. Holly Weird Studios were hesitant to cast black actors in significant parts, fearing backlash from white audiences. But Dorothy knew she was destined for more. She refused to be boxed in by Holly Weird's racist limitation. She was determined to carve her path to the top despite the cost. In 1954, Dorothy Dandridge made history. Her role in Carmen Jones was a revelation. She was magnetic, fierce, and undeniably talented. Her portrayal of Carmen broke every barrier Holly Weird had placed before her. For the first time, a black actress was not only the lead in a major motion picture, but a nominee for the prestigious Academy Award for Best Actress. This was a victory, not just for Dorothy, but for every black performer who had been denied a place in the spotlight. But even with this groundbreaking achievement, the road ahead was not easy. Holly Weird was still not ready to embrace a black woman as a full-fledged star. Despite her historic Oscar nomination, Dorothy's offers were limited. She was typecast. Her roles restricted to the same exoticized characters that define Holly Weird's limited view of black femininity, while white actresses of her caliber received starring roles in romantic films and drama. Dorothy was still seen as the black woman who could only play a certain kind of role. It was a devastating reality for an actress of her talent and ambition. Behind the glamour, Dorothy's life was marked by profound isolation. Though she was celebrated for her talent, she was constantly reminded that she was not truly welcome in Holly Weird's elite circles. Even at the height of her career, Dorothy was subject to blatant racism. She was refused entry into certain hotels, turned away at restaurants, and treated as a second-class citizen in a town she helped to redefine. The color of her skin was an obstacle she could never fully overcome in the industry that profited from her. Dorothy's personal life was equally fraught. Her marriage to dancer Harold Nicholas, which began in passion, ended 
ended in heartache. Harold's infidelity and absence left Dorothy to raise their daughter, Harolyn, alone. To make matters worse, their daughter was born with severe brain damage, adding another layer of hardship to Dorothy's already troubled life. Dorothy struggled to balance the pressures of her career, pain of a broken marriage, and the heartbreak of raising a disabled child in an unforgiving world. Her relationship with Otto Preminger, while offering her roles and brief moments of affection, also turned sour. Preminger promised her lead roles and Hollywood success. But when it came time to deliver, he abandoned her, both professionally and personally. Dorothy's trust was broken by every man who had convinced her to chase bigger dreams. Once again, Dorothy found herself betrayed, this time by love and promises of Hollywood. As years passed, Dorothy's struggles began to mount. The roles dried up. Holly Weird had moved on, leaving Dorothy behind. She tried to revive her career in the 1960s, performing in nightclubs and taking small television roles. But the industry that once adored her now saw her as yesterday's news. Despite her effort, Dorothy's career never fully recovered, and the personal toll of her Holly Weird journey became far too much to bear. As the offers disappeared, so did Dorothy's sense of self. The weight of financial instability, coupled with the responsibility of caring for her daughter, pushed Dorothy to the brink. In her later years, she battled severe depression and mental health issues. The traumas of her life in Hollywood never far from her mind. Her star had once burned so brightly, but it had been extinguished by the very industry that lit the flame. On September 8, 1965, Dorothy Dandridge was found deceased in her apartment from an overdose of antidepressant. She was only 42 years old. Official reports declared it an accident, but many close to her speculated that it was more than that. Dorothy had lived a life of extraordinary highs and devastating lows and the world she worked so hard to conquer had ultimately consumed her. Her death marked the end of a life filled with broken promises and shattered dreams. But in death, her legacy only grew. Today, she is remembered as a trailblazer, a woman who opened doors for black actresses in Hollywood, even if those same doors slammed shut on her. Her talent, beauty, and courage in the face of systematic racism paved the way for future generations, though she herself never fully reaped the reward of her sacrifices. Dorothy Dandridge was more than just a beautiful face. She was a woman who fought for her place in an industry that didn't want her. A pioneer who helped to change the face of Hollywood forever. But her story, like so many others, is a tragic reminder of the cost of fame and the struggle for acceptance in a world that often rejects you for who you are. Join us next time as we continue to peel back the layers of Tinseltown's brightest stars and expose the hidden costs of their fame. From exploitation to manipulation, we uncover the untold truths of what really happened behind the cameras. Until next time, remember Holly Weird is a stage where reality often wears a mask because in the land of dreams, the truth can be a nightmare. You'll be glad to know that my demands are small. Say it's me that you adore for now and evermore. That's all. That's all.